This is the Vic 8 model. Uh, this is the bat that I make for Shade Victorino. We make this exact model, and that's the reason it's named the Vic 8, uh, because it's his personal model. Uh, we make it in 34 inches, 31 ounces, 34 inches, 32 ounces for him. Uh, and this is the bat that he prefers to use this particular model from the left side of the plate. We do another model for him uh, on the right side of the plate. Uh, some players will stick with one bat model. Some of them have three, four, five different models. It depends upon how they feel that day, what type of picture they're facing. I, personally, I love this model. Um, it does an excellent job for uh, younger players from high school level all the way up through uh, college as well as uh, the minor leagues. I actually force the kid to pull the bat down instead of swinging long like that. Yeah, you know, so often kids with the light metal bats will swing long like this. As opposed to having proper technique to bring the bat down. So we stick to the minus six, what? minus seven. Many times you get a much better technique and much better form by swinging with a wood bat than you do the metal bat, uh, especially as you're progressing and learning uh, and why how to is play that? the game and how to swing. Again, it, it comes down to the weight distribution and also the fact that wood bats are not forgiving. The, the sweet spot on this bat, as everyone refers to it, or the center of percussion, is going to be right around this area from here to here. So if you take it off the tip, You'll have an odd shot. If you take it below, down closer to the hands, you'll have a bad shot to maximize the performance of the ball off the barrel. What is the sweet spot? Uh, it's the center percussion where all of the nodes, the vibration nodes, converge at one spot. The primary species of wood that we use with our shop is maple. Uh, it's set up to uh, prove out that you can make a high quality maple bat that wouldn't blow apart into multi pieces and end up putting both players, fans, and uh, officials at arm's way. You know, that barrel comes flying off the tip of this bat, and the player's left with the handle, and the barrel, barrel starts helicoptering into the field of play, or worse yet, into the stands, and bad things can happen. Uh, there's a lot of uh, injuries that we're starting to amass year after year. Uh, Major League Baseball, much to their credit, uh, said, you know, we've got to do an investigation and figure out uh, whether or not it's a viable species to use, and if so, uh, let's come up with some targeted measures for the manufacturing process to help subside and, and alleviate the amount of multi-piece breaking. Uh, they really kind of dumbed down the performance of the metal bat uh, to the extent that our wood bats actually outperform the current metal bats.